Welcome to Comic Flicks. In this video, we will be delving into the world of DC and explore how Robin and Superboy first met, and how they eventually formed the dynamic duo known as the Super Sons. In school, John and Kathy encounter a girl named Maya, who is covertly observing Superboy on behalf of an unknown group. When the school day ends and Kathy heads home, Superboy ventures to investigate peculiar events in Dead Man's Swamp. There, he encounters peculiar creatures and is unexpectedly seized by the enigmatic Nobody, along with her flying companion Goliath, lifting them into the sky. It turns out that Nobody is, in fact, Maya, the same girl John had met earlier at school. Unfortunately, Superboy accidentally triggers his freeze breath, causing them all to plummet to the ground. Goliath barely manages to shield the kids before they hit the ground, but Superboy loses consciousness. Upon regaining consciousness, Superboy finds himself restrained on a table deep within the Batcave, under the watchful eyes of Robin and Nobody. Robin is displeased with Superman and his family for using Batman's property and views Superboy as a potential threat. Batman arrives, seeking to resolve the misunderstanding, and is frustrated with Robin's attitude. However, Superman abruptly barges into the Batcave, demanding to know the whereabouts of his son. To prevent further conflict, Superboy employs his freeze breath to create an ice barrier, separating the two father-son pairs. Superman is granted enough time to calm down, and eventually, everyone gets to know one another. Batman conducts a DNA analysis on Superboy and expresses concern about his emerging powers, promising to keep Superman informed. Superman inquires whether their fathers ever had doubts about raising their children, to which Batman responds that all good fathers do. Unfortunately, Superboy and Robin initially get off on the wrong foot, which is exacerbated when Robin makes an ill-advised joke about Superboy accidentally harming his pet. This leads to Superboy attacking Robin, resulting in a heated confrontation that only ends when their fathers sternly intervene. To instill the value of teamwork in their sons, Superman and Batman organize a training mission in the frigid mountains. Equipped with their superhero attire, Superboy and Robin encounter nobody, who lays out the exercise's rules. The challenge doesn't end with her. They must conquer three more trials to earn their respective badges. Regrettably, nobody's sonic powers trigger an avalanche, sending the kids tumbling down. Capitalizing on the chaos, Robin takes one of the badges and boards a train home. Nobody hands Superboy a leather jacket and advises him not to lose faith in Robin as he boards the train. Suddenly, Goliath, reacting to nobody's sonics, launches an attack on the boys. While Superboy attempts to subdue Goliath, Robin manages to pacify the creature by offering him the fish cargo on the train. Sadly, a collapsed bridge endangers the train, but the boys help Goliath take flight just in time. Throughout their overnight journey to Gotham Harbor, Superboy and Robin ponder whether they can ever bridge their differences. Upon reaching Gotham Harbor the next day, a storm strikes. Superboy suggests flying above it, but Robin insists on navigating through the storm's eye, confusing Goliath and causing them to crash. Superman, who actually triggered the storm, emerges and declares the exercise a failure, instructing them to convene at the Batcave for further discussions. Upon reaching the Batcave, the boys discover their fathers imprisoned by a monstrous entity formed from genetic samples Batman had collected from his adversaries. Collaborating, the boys vanquish the creature and rescue their fathers. Although they didn't officially pass the exercise, they were able to put aside their differences for a common purpose. Alfred restores their capes and christens them the Super Sons. Subsequently, the Kents and Waynes head to Hamilton County to pick Christmas trees for the upcoming holidays. Clark and Bruce express optimism that their sons will eventually become friends, although this prospect seems distant as the children resume their bickering, much to their father's annoyance. Thank you for delving with us through the world of DC. If you liked this narration, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting comic book adventures.